everyone and welcome to another Excel chat walkthrough video. I'm your host Kevin Kelly. Today we're actually going to talk about how to use some if within Google Sheets. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into it. So uh, as some of you know, if you're familiar with this channel, mostly we look at Excel uh, tutorials, but today we're going to talk about Google Sheets. And typically Excel and Google Sheets are parallel with each other. They have the same formulas, they have the same functions, uh, but there's little differences that uh, you can notice. So for this video, we're going to talk about how to use some if. Uh, and talk about Google Sheets walkthrough protocol of how they kind of help you figure it out. So first thing we're going to do is enter our criteria. So first thing we'll say apples. We have a list of products here, apples, bananas, broccoli, carrots, seems like produce, then fruits, vegetables is the category, then the amount of money for each uh, order, the order ID, and the delivery date. So this first example, we're going to use apple as our criteria. So we're going to go equals sum if. Now see how Google kind of walks you through it and talks about what a range, what, what a criteria, what the sum range is. Uh, it's really helpful. So first we're going to look at the range for our criteria, which is obviously going to be the product because we're looking at criteria Apple. So uh, we can hit comma now and then refer to our uh, criteria, which is Apple, and we can just cell reference that, which is H2. Uh, now we're going to look at our sum range and we want to sum the amounts for each order of apples. Close parentheses, enter, boom, there you have it, $17,955 worth of apples. Uh, now we can look at our next criteria. So that was a uh, sum of function with text. Now we can look at it with numbers. Um, you can play around with numbers a lot. Uh, so in this particular example, let's say we're looking at $5,000 uh, worth of, let's say we're looking at $5,000 uh, worth of order. So let's say the order has to be above or below $5,000. So in this case, let's say we want it to be above. We can do equals sum if, look at the amount. Now our criteria, we can either put in quotation marks uh, greater than or less than 5,000, or we could do in quotation marks greater than or equal to 5,000 and then ampersand reference H2. Then hit comma. Now refer to, again, the same range here actually, because we're summing the amounts. And then hit close parentheses and enter. As you can see, we got $53,991. And if we look closely at this uh, Excel chart article, we can see that is correct. So we'll go ahead and move along to the next one. And now we're looking at dates. So what you really need to understand is that this is basically gonna be consistent uh, throughout each formula. We'll do one more example here for you. Um, uh, might look at doing blanks and non-blanks as well, but it's it's the same concept. So let's go ahead and go to dates uh, and we'll finish up with that one. So start over, let's say our criteria is 7-1-2018. Uh, so our, our criteria is July 1st, 2018. Now we're gonna do our sum if formula equals sum if uh, asking for the range, so our criteria range is going to be uh, the delivery date. We're going to go ahead and highlight all of that. Now we're going to hit comma. Again, you have the option to put in quotation marks uh, greater than or equal to the date, or you can put in quotation marks greater than or equal to quotation mark ampersand cell reference. That's the way that I would personally do it just because cell referencing makes things a lot easier in the long run. Uh, now we're gonna look at our, what we want to add up, which is the amounts, and then we'll hit close parentheses and enter. So as you can see, $38,626 for all uh, deliveries that were done on July 1st and after. So when you do greater than, typically means July 1st and after that. If you do less than, it's July 1st and before that. In this case, we did after and we got $38,626 and that is consistent with the Excel chat article answer. Still have questions? Click to get help from a live Excel expert at Excel chat.